What's up, you wonderful people? It is I, Nima, and today I want to talk about a game that I've kind of been excited for. It just looked really interesting and really cool. It's called Death Run TV. Now, I'll get into the mechanics here in a second, but I did want to remind you guys to please, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you don't, YouTube said they will officially sell me, and I, I'm not worth anything, so I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, Death Run TV is one of those games I saw for June that I was really excited about. And the thing is, with June, I don't know if you're aware, a lot of great games coming out. So I've kind of got to be careful about what I pick up, what I'm going to spend my money on, and what you know how much time I'm going to have. Because there's just so many games coming out that time is limited, right? But Death Run TV is a roguelike, twin-stick shooter, loot-grabbing, just balls-to-the-wall action kind of game. Now, basically, you start off as a contestant in a TV show. This uh, TV show is rather uh, brutal, and <laughs> all the people cheer for you. They give you the likes, but the likes come at the, um, let's just say, the cost of potentially dying, as there are a number of enemies out to kill you essentially. Now, while you're running around trying to kill these enemies and avoid different obstacles, you also have the option to save people. There's a number of, I guess, hostages, these people running around, that you can, um, essentially, you can untie them and you can lead them to safety. And if you do so, you'll get more likes and sometimes they'll even give you some stuff that they find. Now, I've not made it incredibly far into the game. Like, I've gotten maybe to about the second boss. It's difficult. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is one of those games, I think you're just kind of meant to die. <laughs> you know, it's it's not deeply story-driven, it's not super in-depth on characters, but there is something there and something much deeper. And if there's one thing I can say, when I look at, like, somebody like Game Theory, they learn so much about different games, and I know that there's something a little bit more here. And when you look at maybe what this game is showing, is showing a dystopian future, honestly. It does kind of come out like an episode of Black Mirror. You know, you are a contestant in a death game like, that is just purely there for the entertainment of the average person and your big win what do you get <laughs> some money but more so you get likes like it's it like honestly likes it i do find that interesting because the more likes that you get and the more kills you get the more equipment you unlock the more guns you unlock and there is a variety of of guns like just a ton of them everything from like like electrode exploders i believe is the proper term uh, just just sniper rifles shotguns triple sh barrel shotguns all sorts of different crazy weapons you know i like how some of them are pretty traditional but a lot of them are way out there like rocket launchers so you can just run around with a rocket launcher but there's a whole variety of options now on the other side there is also cosmetics like you can definitely change the way you look now the base of it they have a lot of different options for the way you can look like you know you can change your hair color your skin color your eye whatever but further on you can start adding on different accessories um, you know hats clothing and you know like i said apparel all sorts of different stuff you can add on i think it just gives the game a little bit more depth but i think honestly this is one of those games that i really like because it's just a lot of fun and it's something that you can get kind of like a palate cleanser like when you've been grinding and grinding and playing rpgs and these like deep driven games that are super serious sometimes it's not just just to put on a game like this where you don't really have to overthink anything it's just bang bang run away <laughs> you know i'm gonna do uh bullet time action and dodge and shoot and dodge and shoot and save people like and not think about anything more and that's definitely what this game offers i really do appreciate a lot about it the graphics are wonderful i think like i really like the sound and the graphics the game just looks really pretty and I think it's done a really good job as far as performance as well. There's only one hiccup I can think of. And there is an ability that you have where you have a bomb. And you can let it go. And it pretty much just levels the entire playing field. When you do that, a lot of times there is a hiccup. I have noticed that. Outside of that, I haven't really noticed any other problems with the game. There is something to be said for the value. And this is where I'm torn. Because this game has great control. It has a lot of just unlockables. And it really comes off to me sort of in that same realm as like a Fall Guys. In the fact that like there's a lot there for someone who wants to play. But it could get repetitive. And it's not going to be very, very deep. It's not, I want to say something like a, a Final Fantasy or something. I don't know. Like an RPG. You're definitely not going to have like that depth of story and narrative on the other side there's just a lot of action and a lot of dumb fun with it so that's where the value kind of bothers me 
It's fourteen ninety nine, which is like right on that limit of it being kind of expensive, and it is. But then when you look at the depth, and you look at the graphics, and you look at all the unlockables, and you look at the performance, and you look at like potential DLC, you look at some other stuff that they could do to kind of change it up, but maybe just add a little bit more. And fourteen ninety nine is not that bad. But that's where I'm at. A little bit torn on it. I think if I'm gonna give it an overall grade, I would give it a seven out of ten. And I, you know, if you're not into roguelikes, if you're not into bullet hell kind of games and you definitely won't be into this but if you are into those kind of palate cleansers those kind of fast games you could maybe play for 20 30 minutes here or there and just kind of work on you know raising your score then i think you're really gonna enjoy this game death run tv it's awesome i enjoy it anyway guys i appreciate you let me know if you guys are picking it up if you've heard of it or what games you're playing right now but like always i'm wishing you guys health wealth and above all you guys are truly happy take care